The skills of glass blowing is not in the torch. It's not in the flame. It's all in the head. It's all in the planning and the foresight and the visualization. Like this is where the skills of glass blowing is. And there's all of these like really eye-opening moments where you realize that it's bigger than you had any idea it could be. Like if there's a room behind a door and that door blends in with the wall, you have no idea there's a room behind that wall. And once the door is opened, you realize there's an entire room there. I'll be able to illustrate a lot of these deep concepts with really simple demos and illustrations that I think will give people the tools they need to be able to visualize what's happening in the glass, in the medium, what the heat is doing inside of there and what the gravity is doing inside of there. You start with no idea of entire large concepts until your eyes are open to it and then you realize how much you have to learn. It sounds like it has nothing to do with glass blowing. But it is so important. It is, I mean, it really makes the difference. I really like empowering people. Um, I would like, I want everybody to be the best glass blower that they can be. And if I, if I can lend a little help or equip somebody with the tools that it takes to be a better glass blower, that's what I really want to happen. I want there to be beautiful things in the world. And I want people to be able to make those beautiful things. I think that this is a really unconventional format for a glass blowing class. I mean, glass blowing classes are demo based, classically. It's not a watch me make my famous piece class. If you understand what's happening in the glass and you understand why it's happening, it gives you control over that aspect of the glass. If you don't understand what's happening or why it's happening or how it got there, then you don't have that control. Is I'm trying to hand people a toolkit. It's not, you know, I'm not trying to show people step one, two, and three in the flame. I'm trying to hand people all the tools they need to be able to figure all of it out on, on their own, you know, to be able to do anything in the flame. People will leave this class really feeling informed and with a lot more control and, and power over the glass. I think that it's going to be really good. I'll be starting off the class talking about the flame itself and the nature of the flame, some basic stuff like the chemistry and the composition and the different zones of the flame and the different temperature zones of the flame, the exhaust curtain around the flame and how this is beneficial, you know, a hindrance in other situations and how to use all these things. The way the flame interacts with the surface structure and how it deposits its heat, the nature of the induction of heat into the surface of the glass and the way it spreads within. And like there's an energy value curve that's happening there. It's not just creativity. You, there's a lot of technical aspects to it. And so as a glass blower, you're maybe not just purely an artist, but possibly more so a technician. Other more mature industries or crafts and arts, uh, this this kind of teaching isn't unfamiliar. Like people really do have seminar style classes where they're discussing the concepts behind and not, yeah, the theory of it. I, and I think we're just behind schedule on that. I've gotten you know little bits of feedback, oh, that stick stack technique has been useful or whatever. But the best feedback comes much later, several years later when these people come up and they're like, those things you said about seeing this or thinking that or planning this or that changed my whole my whole game, you know? And, and that's the stuff that I'm trying to nail here is those like real eye openers that actually like, you know, make the difference. That's a lot of what I'll be doing in this class is trying to make those connections so that people can realize that they do already understand this. It's all in how you're viewing it and what mindset you're in and, and how you approach. It is the philosophy of glass blowing. And then maybe it just starts off the whole next generation, like way ahead.